I told him when he preached, I thought I had never preached. Because the man was a living Bible. We believe that he ran his race. And I know that he is happy where he is. War unto us who are still living. Because we still have the rest before us. Bishop is one of the witnesses. Bishop, who stand in the heavens. And they applaud us. They keep telling us run. The Bible says we are surrounded with a great cloud of witnesses. Among those witnesses are men and women that have overcome. They have overcome sin. And I am honored to welcome to you tonight. Pastor Faber same format of the pulpit to come and bless us. We are going to pack our two cups. We are going to pack our two cups. Man, you are still beautiful. You look amazing. We are going to pack our two cups. We are going to pack our two cups. Thank you for standing and uh, for standing on the truth, especially in this generation. There is a lot of compromise. But I personally, I follow Apostle Hakeza. is not a man of compromise. Hallelujah. Amen. I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank 
But as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish. For the joy of, of for the joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore, you now have sorrow. But I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice. And your joy, no one will take from you. There is sorrow as we are still moving on planet Earth. By the time we come, when we shall have joy, and no one will take it away from us. We are like women while in labor. We are women while in labor. Because we want to bring out something. The Holy Spirit wants to bring out something out of us. And because we are mingled and intermixed with the world and so many things. There is pain. Separating the chaff from the consecrated ones. Praise the name of the Lord. There is pain. Separating from sin. It is like a child, a woman in labor. There is pain. You know that verse very well. Because it turns apart that you want. I know. It says, For you need of endurance. So that after you have done the will of God, you will receive the promises. We very much want that part receiving the promises. Indeed, we want to hold on the promises. But there is a time for endurance. When you're still in labor. Sometimes you may be in labor. For a time you don't know. In most cases, when people come to me and they are in labor, and they are in labor, you know, uh, it is a proverb. We, we are using figurative language as the Bible has used it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You guys are in the middle of the city. You know all these. Eh? Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes people feel like, for how long will I be in labor? For how long will this last? Hebrews are saying, there is endurance. And as you endure, you do the will of God. You have to be enduring as you're doing the right will of God. You know this is what Paul says. We are running a race and we have to run according to the rules. 
Era tu yino kuduko kusinzi la kumateka. Tetumala galwa gaduka. We do not just run. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 I just want to, to talk about just a little thing. Nina kantu katono kenjaga lopo gira ko. It's the spiritual debt. The evangelion moyo. That we have. The tulina. As Christians, intention for inheriting eternal life. Because if, if, if there is any call upon my life, I have that call upon my life. Call of inheriting eternal life. May I not your call. But for me, there is that heavenly call upon my life. Inherit eternal life. But before I go into glory, there is a spiritual debt that I ought to pay daily. And sometimes, it it pushes me to endure, to endure. Sometimes, I'm like I'm in labor. It is not easy. There is sweating. There are losses. There is shame. There are so many things that happen. I have given birth to a child naturally. Natural. Pushing. Where I tell you push, push, push. It is not easy. But I have also been operated to give birth to a child. It is not easy. Any other way, bringing life is not easy. There is a spiritual debt. And Roman says, Romans 8.12 up to 14 that it is not the flesh that demands but the spirit. Now there are many spiritual debts that we have but I just want to talk about one spiritual debt that maybe will cut across so many things that we do that debt of doing good the debt of doing good anyone who surrenders themselves to do good must have that fruit of the spirit of Endurance. Anyone who surrenders to do good is always like in the labor word. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The debt of doing good. It is my debt. And I think it is also your day. Let me begin from Proverbs. And I know many people love this, this chapter. Proverbs 31. I will begin from the exact verse that you want. Who can find a vacuous woman? Verses 10. For her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her. So he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil. All the days of her life. The vacuous woman does the husband good all the time. 
Can you just think about that? So we don't know who's a boy or a woman. Or child in a home. My cat who is always in good terms with the husband. We got a very good one. You know, one who we can say that. Always speaking good. We can say that you get always blessing. We got one who always encouraging. We got one who's a man. And when you read down, you know, when you see what she does, we are always working. Taking care of the home, doing good to the husband all the time. The Bible says that the husband is always in that his tickets. Greeting the people. And the wife is just after the pots. Doing good. You know, when you read that story, in this generation that we are in, you know, you may think it is not applicable. Because the women of this generation don't want to do good. They do good today and tomorrow, first term. Second term, second term, they are in the director's office. I'm tired of paying. Next time we're back, we're going to be able to make some change. Because he does not know you, you know. That woman is tired of doing good in this generation. The fruit of endurance, the fruit of endurance. Because there is pain like a woman who is in labor. For you to continuously do good and bring out life. Sometimes it sounds like loss. Sometimes it sounds like shame. There's a debt. What is with Banja? It is a spiritual debt. I was thinking about this woman. I said, Oh my God. This woman. I said, Oh my God. You know, when my husband was betrothing me, mm -hmm. he was betrothing me. Thank you, O Uganda. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He told me to read the book of Proverbs. Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Psalms of Solomon. And like you can read in a day and you finish. Then you read again. And read again. And read again. I don't know how many times I read the Proverbs. I don't know how many times I read the Proverbs. And you know you will ask, did you read about the Proverbs 31 in month? Did you read about her acts? Did you understand? You know I was a sheep. Him and so he was preparing the sheep. He was intentional. Now read the Proverbs only removing only those scriptures that speak about the mouth. So you also go back and just speak out those scriptures that speak about the mouth. Four words. You will begin to turn. You will begin to turn. This woman. Not even in her speech. She was doing good. To do good. As this year was beginning, you know, every December, every December, 
I evaluate myself. And I always tell the Lord. I want a road. I want a road. I want a road. Because I do not want to be a, a naughty child. I want to be a child who is courageous, who wants what the Bible says, who doesn't pick out only the easy scriptures. So, Lord, I need a rod that will keep bringing me back. And you know, He gave me the, a chapter. He gave me a scripture. And the scripture began to echo in my mind. Do good to those who do you bad. And I started to say, not be evil for people. Ah, I said now this is not just a, a stick, it is a road. Because in my heart, I think I had begun to develop bitterness because of the things that I had gone through. I would just look at a person. I remember I did not see you when I did not see you when I had issues. So you are not born. I just look at a person who has this one been all the time. Yeah, I have been going through issues. Where have you been? I am I let go of that one. So my father, is a good person. Give me a rod to bring me back. Do good. I don't know, I usually read the whole chapter to people. But I'm not going to read the whole bit. It says in verses 21, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Actually, this is the scripture that kept on echoing in my mind. Do not be overcome by evil. But overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome with evil. But overcome evil with good. It's not easy. Maybe for you. People just knock you. People just knock you. And then you go. It's fine. It's fine. You don't go. It's okay. No but some of us think we have had real issues with people. It is not easy to do good. It is like a woman who is in labor. Not easy to do good. It necessitates endurance. You need the word of God. When I got that scripture, I went back and read the whole chapter. It is a beautiful one. It is a good word. To any Christian who wants to go to heaven. 
praise the name of the Lord. I read the, the, the chapter. I said, oh, now. I really want, you see, I really, I really, really want to go to heaven. This is hard work. Yes, I'm going to see real salvation. You know the Bible says, in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 9 and 10, that the Lord saved us. He will deliver us. He will deliver us. He is delivering us. Apostle Yach take it. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us read it. Second Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.10 God delivered us from so great a death and does deliver us in whom we have trust that he will still deliver us. He delivered us from such a great death and the covering was got off our mind. Yeah, the covering was got off our mind. And we understood salvation. And we understood the Lord. And we came born again. And we let go of our past. When he saved us. Even now as we walk. He still saves us and he still saves us. When does he save us? When we are at the crossroads of doing good. In, the, in that point when you've been done bad. No God and you say not for my own sake but the grace of the Lord be with me that I may do good and he saves you he saves us he saves us from so great a death he saves us from so great a death we do not have the salvation in full you know there is that gospel once he me, there is the one saved forever. I don't know, but one thing I know that that gospel is not on this pulpit. Because we were saved by grace. You know, if there is anyone who has experienced the grace of God, at least in Uganda. I have seen the grace of God. And that is such a God. I have seen the grace of God. The grace of God. I think is a person. I think is a person. I, I don't have right words to explain the grace of God. It is more than people. You know, it saved us from all our iniquities. But I have also seen the grace of God taking me through stones. The grace carried me on its wings. I know that grace. I understand that grace. But one thing I know about the grace. That when you're given the grace of God, you labor so much. The grace 
does not take us to a comfort zone. When you have the grace of God on your life, you're not in that messaging. But the grace of God carries you through ups and downs of life and all the temptations. Paul says that it is not with me but by the grace of God. And because of the grace of God that was upon me, I labored too much, even more than those who experienced the presence of Jesus. That's the grace of God. When the Bible says, and Noah saw the grace of God, fall favor before the Lord, saw the grace of God, then he went and made the ark. Bible Noah the grace of God. I don't know how to talk, describe it. I can't even write it with a small g. Because it is wonderful. It is a gift. When we are in the grace, we are in the grace. Righteousness. When we receive the grace of God, then we become more holy. It is by the grace of God that we can not pay evil for evil. When people expect that you're going to backfire, then you quench fire. That's the grace of God that I understand. When you have things to say, you explain, you but you say, let me be the wrong one. Let me carry the shame. Let me go through the pain. And you do not defend yourself. Then the grace is taking you through that period. And at the end of it all, you bring out life. Praise the name of the Lord. We are still in Romans 12. We read some few verses there. Verses 9. It says what? Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Cling to what is good. Let love be without hypocrisy. We have a date. of doing good. I stopped preaching. Those somersaulting messages. <laughs> I want us to really speak. How many? Do you smile for? Yet deep within you. You know. And you know you don't love them. Let love be without hypocrisy. And the one who measures the hypocrisy 
is the Holy Spirit Himself. Not make Teddy that is interpreting. <laughs> because me, I will take that. But when deep inside of you, but deep within your heart, you know you're being a critical. The Bible says, you love, you hate. You do this and do that. You're called your own. I don't know where you lie. Therefore, I will spit you out of my mouth. Somebody will say, I'll vomit you all. I'll vomit you out of my mouth. You're lying to people. You put plastic smiles. We have a bit. Before we receive the promises. We have to do the will of God. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not cast. But you know what you do? When you get left. You let them go. Left. I don't like what they do and you leave that group. Before you left, if that English is there, before you left, if there is anything that is going wrong, are you blessing? Oh, you've gone with your anger. Yeah, that's it. Or, wait, you know, is that your, your son is that, or why you to How many times have you stumbled the Holy Spirit? If every time you ever at him, he left. Why when I get a mobile night, ah, sit up in a moment to remain and you get left. If the Holy Spirit would also leave us, why when I want to be to a lady, turn up because your word is a turn of me to just why you be laying and you get left. If you give twenty K and he also left, how many times and how many times do we disobey the directives of the Holy Spirit? And he still stays with us, and he still bears with us, and he still calls us his own, and he still stays around. No man be no jam church, no one can come. We there are carrying no camera, no camera to say come. We don't care make a jet to make a. Okulu na biswa ko mo yomu tu ko mo na ata tu leka. Yes, and we don't cast. Wo mu kisa soto ko lima. You know, there are these things that we are used to. What do you to a man in India? Like, in Uzaya, Like, the one we quit with one again. Praise God. God bless you. Come on, home, sir. Praise God. Yes, we have a God bless you. Come on, home, sir. Why doesn't that blessing come to pass? What do you have there are people asking, should we stop greeting like that? It is up to you. And it's your energy. 
na hiyo wanga go blessing na go blessing na go blessing na tachuka ko there is a problem but if the person you bless does not change wali wo buzibu they bless they bless you here bapo wa mukisa wano you go here and cast no gain they na tena ba kulimira kakati na yo bitabira bya ko you know cause the self just mass even when it is not spiritual you can't feel it bless cast bless cast cast mo mukisa tena ngusaza iko to zero no gaza zero no chama you come you place again and watuwa wana mchatu nisi watu watu mungira vya mwoyo yu when we are church we are very spiritual kama mwoyo 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 ganda kukuwe ya kukuwe i don't want to say that that's just a good time sabi hakukama chitu watu marabu fi let us walk to kodenyo on our hearts we imagine we begin the blessing from within not only blessing those who have done us good but even those who persecute us the bible says when you do that that you 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 put calls of fire on their and he says that vengeance is mine leave it to me you continue blessing from the deepest of your heart and do good to everyone without segregating more so to those who do us bad Jesus asks Yes, when you love those who love you which reward do you have there's no reward so why in pera as long as you are in your cake genda wali eri wotu ya nilira there are where you never wama kwa tete tete ngo manita ditemku you never know what you do to and whenever you meet them your heart melts no we are not you feel like you're sweating ah wonder where you are that is where that blessing is kakati so you go to pastor fever kama he was we praise the lord so you want to do kubuza ko forgive me i've not been to you now when i call jerry kama bomba the lord bless you era ka when you leave otakulenga you also take a echo tabuza ganya chikutuse you broke and that thing of no meeting each other you will feel you have done something in the spirit otakulenga ngokoze chinye chomo you have done good ngokoze bulonji na yego ya ngakiliki ko but when you around your click kale na to sichi it is also not bad na ite chiki kompera but it has no reward even those who do fact bo bagala banabo they love each other abo era babitume ndo they also name their circles those names but we the children of the most high should be different so you know kuba benja however in implementing that era mukukole chinese lepa wali wo kufuba pain wali wo bulumi wali wo bulumi kirisa endeva na yafuba nyo pena okusasule banje do me good and you okolo bulumi begin in your house start if the money you where you work from your chocolate make it intention kendelela to do good okolo bulumi tangi kandi ko bade to kuza ganya na start with that person you've not been great tangi kanata yagala kutunolira start with that person who doesn't tangi kato yakacha kusimiye wanditaina bya kola na yaku lindo start with that person who presses their phone so that you bypass because this is salvation kubanga kuno bolokozi this is heaven you know kuno we don't do that so to go there maybe there is another heaven we are going to osanga wali ekubedala ne tugenda this bible is true bible yeno mazima it is true it is the word of god it was approved and lost by the holy spirit ya mazima chikamo cha katonda era cha bless those who persecute wo mukisaba bakuyiganya 
do good and don't pay evil. Love those who don't love. Love your enemy. The food is a cassava that we are eating by the Your enemy. Because the Lord does not expect us. Let me tell you something simple. That has helped me. Number one. I am not responsible for your heart. See, I know Vunans work Mutimago. I am not responsible for your thoughts. See, no Vunans work with Chicho Rosa. I am responsible for my heart. You know Vunans were your thoughts. What is in my heart? The motives in my thoughts. Those ones are a hundred percent responsible. So I intend to do good. If I come to you, Teddy, me, my intention is to clear up the bad air between us. Now, for you, if your thoughts are not in that line, that is not my part to do. The Lord is part and you. I don't know when the Lord will verify that I am ten wheel, over Nekoza, over Ambikako, over Britannica, over Ankolaja. All those will be running in people's minds as you want to do good. But you are not responsible. For you, your part is to work out. My husband used to ask me, What are you supposed to do? Have you done your part? Leave the rest to God. And that thing always comes back to me. What am I supposed to do? The Bible says in the book of God, is it Romans? Do be in peace with all men. Bible with all men. With all men. Is it possible? I said, no, this is not possible. No, it is possible. You are not responsible whether they don't greet you back. But you greet you. Clear up your motives. Do not have bent evil for evil. Vengeance is the Lord. Do good. Do good. Do good. Do good. Do good. Do good. Let me ask us to stand up on our feet and welcome the pastor. Oh